Let's have a look at the um, new um, features in, uh, in Vertex Tools uh, version 1.1. Um, apart from bug fixes and general speed improvements, the um, main uh, new feature is uh, is probably going to be the uh, the gizmo, uh, the manipulator gizmo. Uh, let's just quickly make a little plane from sandbox tools and we enter vertex mode. Uh, make some selections, soft selection, and as you can see, this is a little gizmo here, which allows you to quickly perform move and scale operations um, without actually leaving the um, which actually leaving the, the selection tool. Uh, so it saves you a few, few clicks. Um, a more detailed <clears throat> a more detailed um, description of the, the gizmo is going to be in a separate video. Um, another feature which is going to be quite useful is being able to lock um, any UV mapping you might have. Um, let's have a look at just adding a texture to that. Uh, now I'm just going to use uh, quad face tools to first map this texture to this surface. And well, you can see what happens normally in, in SketchUp when, for instance, we use smooth. Uh, all the texture just get distorted, <coughs> and the continuity uh, continuity of the um, UV mapping is, is lost. Now, if you start vertex tools now, you can add some soft selection, and there's a new option here, lock UV mapping. If you keep that enabled, when you then modify the mesh, you'll see it, it maintains um, the UV mapping consistent with what it used to be. Um, if I turn it off, oops, then you can see um, the same thing happens again. <clears throat> uh, so this is on by default, and you probably want to use it the whole time. Um, another feature, which is new, is that you can select a set of vertices. For instance, these four here. Um, you can kind of disable soft selection and I'm going to right click or I can use this actually merge vertices and what happens there is that all the four vertices just got collapsed into a single point um, currently there's no way to control uh, the, the destination of where that point is going to be uh, it, it picks it based on um, the average position of all the selected vertices. Uh, now there's another feature. So look, I'm going to copy this. Now, if I copy this 9,000 millimeters, that's, that's going to automatically merge between themselves there because it. it they overlap exactly. If I move it 9001, so it's merely intersecting but not quite. So you're going to have a vertex there and a vertex there. If I then select all of them to 16, and I can 
right click and merge close vertices. And here I can then um, give a tolerance distance and all vertices within the given uh, tolerance will be merged into uh, a single vertex. So if I click OK now, all the ones we select before should um, collect, collapse into eight uh, vertices. As you can see here now, eight vertices, and it's completely merged. Which is quite useful for, for instance, when importing um, CAD files, uh, DVG drawings, where but you often get sort of like really, really small uh, inaccuracy problems uh, where things doesn't line up completely. <clears throat> now, another new feature to this is if we have, I'm just going to make a small little barrel, lots of vertices, of course. Um, as you know, ignore back faces will allow you to do a selection where the faces that faces away from the camera uh, isn't selected. Um, however, this doesn't mean that um, this is not the same as only visible uh, vertices. For instance, if I do this, and I have these faces here and these faces here, they, they're all facing the camera. Uh, so even though you can't see the faces of the um, barrel in the back, I do a selection here, it also selects the ones in the back. Uh, this is because it's really slow to select just the ones that are visible. So in version 1.1, you could right click and choose uh, select only visible. This is just a one-time operation, and it filters out all the vertices that is not visible. You see all the selections on, on the back barrel here disappeared, uh, which is quite handy sometimes. And you might even want to um, pick a keyboard shortcut for that. Uh, there is also improvements in the um, the normal move tool. If I activate move now, I could, because I didn't have anything selected in the forehand, I can now do what you can normally do with the native move tool and just hover <coughs> the cursor over a vertex, pick it up and click it. And that makes for us, uh, some easy uh, modifications. Uh, another thing is that previously, if you move the vertex onto another one, uh, it wouldn't. Now, if I click here now, uh, it automatically mer merged those two edges over here. In version 1.0, it, it didn't do that. So. Um, that's a quite uh, convenient fix, so it leaves clean geometry. Uh, another feature which mimics the, uh, the native move tool is that you can now use uh, absolute and relative coordinates for, uh, you can just type it into the value control box. For instance, let's have a little quest. Now this vertex here is placed at 0, 0.0, .0 in this group. I select this one and I initiate a move. I can start typing in the absolute coordinate I want for this. So I want it to be 500 millimeters in the red axis, 250 in the green axis and 750 in the blue axis. 
Oink. And there you've got these absolute coordinates. Um, you can also do the relative coordinates like a native uh, move tool. Uh, there's also um, a fix so that you can uh, use the delete key on the PC now to erase vertices. Um, select one here and press delete and deleted it. Uh, another thing which <coughs> it's just happened here now is that it merged the, um, the faces together. Previously, if you deleted in, in version 1.0, if you deleted a vertex, it would delete the connected edges to it. But in 1.1, if the, um, the connected edges are collinear, it will actually preserve. Um, the edge, it will merge the collinear edges into just one. So 